Most people are looking for how to make a life worth living and a retirement worth having, but they're not always able to do it because they're looking for the tools, the, the time, and the technology, and the talent to help them to become all they can be. When we're trying to get something accomplished in a local library, we expect that the person who provides for us their service is going to stick with us until, in essence, we have all the information we need to make a good project go. What I find very funny and very somewhat agitating is that when I come to local libraries and I let them know up front that I'm a guest, that I'm looking how to do something, they really take the time to go through a proper customer service welcome and say, we're so glad you're here. Thanks for participating in our local library. And we'd like to tell you how to do this unless you already know. If you don't know, I'm happy to spend a few minutes of time with you to explain to you how the technology works, how the tools work, and how to best accomplish your project in the most efficient amount of time. You see, that's what a positive-oriented customer service representative would do. But when they don't do this, they literally leave us to our own wit's end of our old memories of how certain types of equipment work and whether or not we have any commonality knowledge of how technology should and shouldn't work and shouldn't play out. Now, as I talk here, I've also discovered in talking with the local librarian who's running this Ignite booth is that there's actually a, an illicit sort of camera being monitoring of what I'm doing in this place. And I find that sort of a little bit of violation of my federal rights to access the library, to do the things I need to do, and to not be hampered by someone thinking they have the right to literally monitor and watch what it is that I'm doing. I'm not doing anything illegal, I'm not doing anything illicit, but I'm certainly not doing anything immoral, and yet they have the right to review anything I do, which I don't really feel is appropriate given the national laws regarding our access to information on a tool such as something provided by a publicly funded library. Now that's just my opinion, opinion as a reporter and of having experienced this little location only a few times. And each time I've had to literally go back every single time to their customer service representative to ask more questions because the overall introduction to the event was not all that great. Now in life we have moments of time to be authentic, we have moments of time to be out transparent, we have moments of time to really make a difference for people. And how you make a difference for people is to allow them to be all they can be, allow them to produce all they can, and literally let them live their lives without hampering and harm. Thanks for listening. This is Blake Henson of Blaze Communications, LLC, saying, make it a great day, people. Make sure that your life is a life worth living and retirement worth having.